I would say first round EWS 2018 here in Chile. We have been there two times before and we know what's going on and we also know that is the anti grip tracks here. Uh, we have a new team member, Zacharias, and also Greg and Gusti. And uh, yeah, tracks are gnarly. Long, rough, loose, dusty. Yeah, the legendary anti-grip here. So uh, yeah, pretty pretty gnarly race. Uh, well, we've got a new rider. We've got Zacharias Johansson. And uh, yeah, he's a shot, he's a pinner. He's uh, he had a good season last year and we trained a bit together over winter and he's riding really well. So uh, I think it's gonna be a good year for him. It's cool, he's a real uh, real stylish rider and real like poppy and jumpy and he loves a bit of, he loves a good hook. So uh, yeah, it's good fun to ride with him. You know, he's always stoked and yeah, it's cool. Uh, he's uh, super, super cool and also funny and um, he likes to ride fast like Craig and me and uh, <laughs> that makes uh, I think a really good team. Exactly, Chile was the first trip of the year and the first trip uh, with the team as well for me and I only have good memories from that trip. That was, uh, I got six so that was my best result so far so that was kind of a relief to get a, such, such a good result like just straight out of the back uh, with new bike and new teammates. He's a crazy one, I would say, but he's, he always has some precision in there as well. Uh, so all, all of us all three together, like a really good group to practice the stages with and like just hang, hang around with. Yeah, I was my best result ever. I go fourth there and the overall and uh, yeah, then there was a lot of pressure on me. Yeah, I would say for the first race, really good. First is the team podium. The action team was together with GT Factory on first place, so that's really good. Uh, and then uh, Zacharias on sixth place overall, also great. Best result in EWS for him. Big, big surprise is that Gusti Wildhaber uh, is leading the team now at the fourth place overall here. What is an amazing, amazing uh, result for him. I would say Colombia is one of these countries I've never been before, but the inspiration and the spirit of mountain biking here was the best I've ever seen. <laughs> Mystery 50 was uh, that I raced to my 50th birthday, uh, my first EWS race. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. Good crack to have him riding and fair play to him for finishing because that was a hard race. But uh, yeah, it was a good crack. He got an overtake on me as well on one of the stages. I uh, thought I was the big dog going past him and then just ran off track and Klaus just trickled on by. <laughs> was okay I was enjoying the first stages and then I had a mechanical uh, so I ended up running all the way up to five tough race for me but I just wanted to keep on going and uh, try to get a few points yeah happy with the results uh, the race was far from smooth I had some mechanicals and crashes and it was just so chaotic like so much happened in the races but uh, yeah that no, was a good day out. Yeah, it's another like amazing part of the world that we've seen thanks to our bikes and thanks to this series. So uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, pretty special. After Colombia, we have some photo shoot in Lake Garda, and uh, I, I go in shirt there. And, uh, also need a surgery. So after the first two rounds in Chile and Colombia, I was basically just at home, and um, a friend from back home, Matt Walker, approached me and said, "Oh, the Cube team could be interested." and um, flew to Europe and then got my bike and uh, a day before the race in France and then 
yes, got helped out by the team, so it was real good. Um, yeah, this week we've just picked up Cole Lucas from New Zealand. Um, I've known the kid for a while now and sort of Cube Action Team's been lacking a junior this year, so Klaff sort of jumped on the opportunity when it popped up. Yeah, great to have him on board. He's a good lad, good rider. Um, he was flying at the start of the season and he had a good one this weekend as well. So, uh, yeah, it was cool to have him around. Now. It's really cool to have a new rider and have a younger U21 rider as well. It's, yeah, quite a unique area for riding, actually. It's really rocky trails for the most part, but then some of them are quite the opposite to that. Like, stage two was mostly dirt and actually quite loamy. So, like, two compared to three was a total contrast. Three was probably 100% rock. It was hard to find a good rhythm, though, and hard to feel if you were up to speed or not. But, uh, yeah, I actually really enjoyed the tracks here. It wasn't the best one. After the first day, I felt like I had no energy in my body, and I, I don't know what, what was wrong. And I just decided to go early back to the hotel after the first race day, lay down in the bed, and I just stay there. It was a hard decision to make, but uh, in the end, I think it was the right one. Uh, yeah, my race was up and down really. Uh, felt great on the bike. Bike felt amazing. We're on the new bike now, and yeah, really feeling good on it. Just, just struggled to put it together on the day really. Um, just making too many mistakes, and you know, either going too slow or going too far past the edge. And on these trails, when they're so slippery and technical, there's a really fine line between, you know, being too slow and crashing. And uh, yeah, I just struggled to find that balance. Yeah, so next up we have a race between Austria and Slovenia. Yeah, gonna be really cool. Looking forward to a new venue. Uh, yeah, trials here were tough in every way, really. Technical, physical, just really, really challenging. I've done. The liaisons are real long, but um, the tracks are real good. Enjoyed day two a bit more than day one, but uh, just rode a bit too conservative. But uh, all the tracks were sick, and Ryan is real good, so it was awesome. Locked down, tape in my rotor and in my cassette, and then had a couple of big crashes because it just couldn't slow down. But hey, it's enduro, right? in Italy, EWS round five. Uh, yeah, these stages are natural, steep, loamy, rooty, rocky, technical. Technical would be the word, really. Really challenging, steep, uh, rough, and uh, first day was super sleeper as well. Yeah, we are in here in the high open side and needs a lot of energy. Uh, yesterday was quite hard and uh, it's going to be a tough race. Yeah, your classic enduro day really. Crashing, walking, um, generally being out of control. It's been pretty fun. I hurt my shoulder a little bit on stage one and knocked my eye, as you can see. So, rough start to the day. 
where I'm lying in the ranking is super tight with the time, so I'm just gonna go up and try to end the day strong, hopefully. physical races we've probably done but there was almost no pedaling in the stages like it was just physical on the entire body just riding your bike down big steep mountains for a long time it was uh, yeah it was really tough you gotta crawl then walk them run again hello sports fans welcome to beautiful whistler you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, the tracks are they're varied. Like there's such a big mix. You know, you've got your smooth bike park stuff to your gnarly, wild, natural, raw stuff outside the park. Um, yeah, it's pretty good to uh, ride some like real rough trails, and um, the bike park heaps of fun, and then. All the trails that we rode in the Enduro were good, so yeah, loving it out here and the trails are good fun, so yeah, it makes it easy to ride. You got to be strong, you can't stop till you cross the line. You gotta run from morning to midnight. I have the feeling that you want it more and more. Then I gave you more and more and more. I have the feeling that you want it more and more. Then I gave you more and more and more. And I wanted to feel the fire. Yeah, the race didn't go too badly. Started off the day a little bit slow, but then uh, got going a little bit better towards the end so, and uh, managed to pull back a bit of time on the last stage. So, yeah, it was pretty stoked. Or I've been finishing like fourth and fifth a little bit, so it's a bit frustrating when you're just missing out. So, yeah, it's definitely good to be back on the podium. Yeah, so we're here in Einz of Spain for the seven round of the EWS, and uh, it's a beautiful place. Tracks in Einz were quite, um, they were tricky in their own way. They were quite physical, a lot of them, and they weren't the most technical, but then pretty loose, but not too loose, and yeah, it's really, really cool terrain. Trying to stay sober. I think I beat him with like three seconds or something. So I ended up in ninth and he was 10th. So um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I wouldn't really matter if he beat me. I just stoked that both of us are back in the top 10 and really happy with that. Yeah, yeah, new bike is amazing. It's 
it's so cool. Like I think every rider probably dreams of having a custom painted bike. Here in Finala I got a, my first custom painted frame with, which was really cool as well and the bike looks sick but I'm also really appreciate that they put in the work to like make you feel special as a rider and like... I'm really proud to be Irish so it's really cool to have a bike to represent that title plus to be able to just ride in my national colours is uh, it's really cool and it's something that a lot of people get the opportunity to do. So. I'm, I'm really happy with the overall result, so at the moment we have, we have finished at fourth, can finish in the, at the top five of the world, best teams. Not a lot of crashes or injuries, so pretty happy. Everyone is happy, then I'm happy. Yeah, it's been a real good season. I've actually uh, loved it and I wasn't actually planning on doing all the enduro races this year, but it's been awesome, so I really enjoyed it. Yeah, looking forward to an off season. I think I've learned more this year than I have any season. And, uh, yeah, like I've, all year I felt really good on the bike and I'm pretty keen to uh, come in next year and kind of prove that I can still win races and I'm still at that pace. Every time I'm back home I'm just looking forward to get back on the road with these guys so that's, uh, that's what I enjoy the most. Uh, like the atmosphere in the team is super important for me uh, and it feels like I'm just out traveling the world with my friends so that's, I feel pretty lucky to feel like that.